Okay, well this is a test of the uh, the new dual controller and uh, it's kind of can't quite see it but uh, it's underneath the Palulo board here. I'll just pull it apart. So there's the board with the pick and a couple other components. This is the Palulo board as it comes with the header soldered on. Um, and basically it's 15 pin connector and it just plugs in. Then uh, off the Palulo board, the Palulo board, I connect up a 6 volt battery. It's a separate battery pack that I use. You could use the same battery pack for the receiver, but I use the same, I use a different pack to power up the receiver, the retracts. It's definitely better. So the retracts powered. The transmitter is on. I'm going to power up the receiver here. We'll see what happens. All right, first thing there is the uh, controller did. It just made sure as soon as you plug in, uh, turn on your receiver and stuff, make sure the gear is down. Uh, so that you could just easily just power up your plane and uh, have your gear down, you could sit it on the ground. Okay, and then on the uh, transmitter, just as before, I just have a little uh, switch and I'm going to bring them up. Okay, just a little so you can see all of them. And then bring them back down. I could reverse at any time or I can go in either direction. It doesn't have to reach the limits. But either way they'll stop. And uh, both of them also have the stall capability. Like I'll stall that one. And go back up. And then if your gear happens to be up and all of a sudden you lose uh, like uh, <laughs> your signal for a little while. I'll just turn it back on. The gear will automatically go down, and even though you have the switch in the up position, if you cycle it, it tries bringing the gear down, it's already down. Bring it back up. And stop. And if it gets jammed, it'll just stall. The next time you bring it up. These are two gear, two gear motors running off of uh, one of those Palula boards with the pick. Okay, and then this is just a stagger mode, kind of just staggers the gear uh, a little. It's actually, I think it's one second delay from one to the other. Uh, This is another uh, key feature too with how the actuators work too. Um, on both extremes up or down you'll see the motor kind of back off a little. Uh, I'll show you why it does that. So at the very end it kind of backs off and what that does is it doesn't quite unlock the trunnion from its locked position but what it does is it allows all of the weight to kind of be on the the locking mechanism rather than the actuator and you can kind of see when the gears all the way down I could actually move that pin that's holding the actuator rather easily and if I go in the other direction it also backs off a little and what that does is that frees it up again you can see how loose it is What's really holding the gear up and down is the actual trunnion uh, locking mechanism. Uh, so that's kind of key too, so it kind of relaxes the actuator on either, either end. At least that's the way it works on these robots here. 
So the key is with the mechanical locking mechanism of the robot, so you could actually back off the actuators like that and free up the uh, the pin. You can see how loose that is. There's no pressure whatsoever on the actuator. Pretty slick. Again, real free. Pretty slick.